Hi everyone, I'm going to do a uh, quick video here, uh, just take a quick tour of our website. Um, it's a little difficult to navigate sometimes, so uh, real quickly, um, if you click up here in the top left, this is our home page. This just takes you always back to this page you're looking at. And uh, here's an information section, uh, has information on how to get a hold of us. There's a picture of me. Um, anyway, that's our general information. Um, and then the view shopping cart. This, uh, well, we have a privacy policy here as well. Uh, our site map does not currently work, but uh, you can view the shopping cart here, which uh, is currently empty. But um, anyway, I clicked on keep shopping and it brought me back to the home page. But uh, along the, uh, on the front page here, uh, here are all the items you can actually purchase. And if you click on them, it will take you to that specific item and uh, you can purchase it. Uh, Here's also is our, uh, uh, amongst these uh, items to purchase is our how-to section. I don't like the way this is laid out. We are going to redo our website, but if you click here, um, this will take you through our um, how-to section with all our videos, pictures, and other information. And uh, here's, uh, I'll scroll down real quick through the, uh, the content, pictures, um, and just about everything, Got all kinds of videos different items, uh, but anyway, it's endless. There's all kinds of stuff here, so. Um, anyway, there's a lot of information there. Uh, I'm gonna click home, go back to the first page. Now, um, again, on this first page, here are all the items you can purchase. These are regular punch, a bunch of sh different types of sheetings through here. Um, here's the Ultim stuff. Here's a, a small sanding block, a large, sanding block and then the uh, the here's the one that has a it's a coarse sanding block all four sides are coarse or really uh, rough and uh, here's a couple newer pieces of uh, sheeting we've added so you can also get to these items over here on the left side so all of these here on the left are the same as on the front uh, with the pictures so I'm going to go ahead and just show you real quick how to purchase something um, you can use MasterCard Visa American Express Discover uh, I think you can even do bank wire transfers and uh, and obviously also PayPal if you would like, if you already have an account. Um, they're really easy to use. Um, I'm going to purchase a pick punch, a standard one, and I'll do a jazz punch as well, maybe a sheet and a, a sanding block. But um, all you have to do is just click on the uh, description um, or the picture there. And then it, it comes up with the specific information about that item. So here is the 351 standard pick punch. That's the, the one that 90% uh, of everyone buys. Uh, that's the standard general pick shape. So I'm going to add this to the cart. I'm going to buy one of those. And it'll take you to the cart. So here it is. It's $24.95. Um, nothing is in here as far as the uh, shipping information because we haven't given it uh, the shipping address yet. So down here you can click on keep shopping and it'll take you back or you can do back arrows but I like to use the navigation buttons um, so I'm going to click on keep shopping and then it takes you back to where you just were now you can also click on home um, obviously I want to go there's several places to click on home up here and here but anyway I'm going to go to the first home page and I'm going to buy a jazz punch so here's the jazz I'm going to add it to the cart right here and there's the jazz and the standard. I'm going to keep shopping again, go to the home page. I'm going to add in a, uh, a sheet of oh, our new uh, half millimeter acetyl sheeting. Put a piece of that in there. Um, also, while you're in, in each item specific, uh, you can click on this picture here and it will enlarge it so you can see it a little better. Once you get to that point though, you need to back arrow. So, um, anyway, I'm going to add this to the cart, and now it's in the, the cart as well. So, it's totaling up everything. I'm going to keep shopping, and I'm going to go to the home page, and I'm going to add in a small four-stage sanding block. That's a pretty typical order of what we get. Um, add that to the cart. Now, you can check out here. Uh, if you click here, this is uh, pretty much... Uh, you can go in and pay with uh, credit cards or you know, this is a general checkout. If you definitely know you want to pay with PayPal, go this route here. 
but uh, you still have an option to pay with PayPal if you go this route. But uh, I did want to show you one other thing, so I'm going to go back to the home page and go to, go to home here. Up here at the top, it was this view shopping cart. Um, you can, again, you know, if you're looking around, you went to the how-to section, you want to see a little bit more. Um, you know, say so you're not sure if you wanted to get something or whatever. You can always go to the, the shopping cart. So, um, at any time, these buttons up here are always navigable. Uh, anyway, I'm going to click on view shopping cart. And then I'm going to proceed to checkout. Now, I won't be able to do the complete checkout here for you uh, because um, it will require me to input uh, credit card information and everything. But I'll show you roughly what happens here. So um, what you do, you click on checkout. And right up here, this is the shipping information. Um, if you want to send it to someone else, that's fine. Um, but uh, this is where you need to put their full name, the street address, city, state, zip code, and phone. Um, if you do it, uh, if you want to, if you're in a different country, you can obviously select that here. I'll do one here for the UK. Um, but anyway, just as long as you get all the information input here um, in one form or another, it's uh, fine. If you have an issue here, there is a, a place on the uh, at the bottom here you can write a comment. So if it doesn't seem to be quite taking your information the way you want it to, um, you know we can. Uh, and let us know. But anyway, you enter your name, address, city, zip, um, and then over here there's two buttons. One is same as shipping or other. So this is for your billing information. If it's the same as your shipping, if it's if you're sending it to you and this is your credit card billing address, then just you want this selected. If it's another, you know, let's say you're giving this to a gift to someone, you would select other. When you do that, then they will allow you to enter in your billing information here. So um, I'm going to do. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and keep that open. But also here at the bottom, if you're planning to pay with uh, PayPal, you can skip this and just click on PayPal, um, and it'll go straight into PayPal and use your billing information that you already have on PayPal file. But um, you know, I'll select this button again. Um, you have choices: Discover, Visa, American Express, or Mastercard. Um, and you do your card number, expiration month, year, and here's the the three numbers or four numbers on the back of your credit card you enter right there. But anyway, um, enter your email address. Whatever you put here is going to be uh, where you, uh, your shipping information is uh, sent to. So for tracking and other stuff. Um, here you can make sure you select this if you want the information. Email me a copy of my order also right here. Um, so if you, if you need a copy of it, send your email address. Click that. Um, here's another button if you want Yahoo to send you a uh, uh, an email to rate our website and our service. And then down here's the comments again. Uh, put uh, anything you need. You know, if you need to, uh, if something just doesn't seem quite right, put it there. I always check those comments each order, or someone in our shipping department will check those. And anyway, after that, you just click on continue. It's not going to let me, obviously, here because um, I haven't put all this information. But uh, um, Actually, as soon as, uh, I did want to tell you this. When you, after you hit it, enter in your shipping information, it should automatically update your shipping um, to, your shipping costs. So as soon as this is filled out, I believe it go it will go, it'll go ahead and just give you a total here with shipping. So anyway, that's about it. If you have any questions, uh, you, up here at the top of uh, the uh, page is my email address. It's Vaughn at pickpunch.com. And um, appreciate it. Thanks for stopping by our website.